Yo, what is going on guys? Breezy here today, Breezy a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the Sims 4 Snowy Escape quiz. So today I was just scrolling through Twitter as per usual, and I saw the Sims tweet out saying, Simmers, what's your snowy escape? Take the quiz. So we're gonna take the quiz today, okay guys? I'm very interested to see what my snowy escape is gonna be. But before we jump into the quiz, I just wanna say guys, I'm in the middle of creating a machinima right now. So that's why there's been a lack of uploads a little bit. I recently rebuilt a uh, part of my save file. I built up all the characters and now I'm in the final stages of just writing out the script. I have an idea of what I want. It's just like, I need to script it out first and then I'm gonna start filming the machinima and hopefully get it up to you guys about time snowy escape well hopefully get it up to you guys around next week or so as what i'm is what i'm aiming for so hopefully i can do it but let's hop into this quiz where are you spending your day on a mountain on a hike in the traditional part of town in the modern part of town at the onsen okay so okay i'm not gonna be spending i'm gonna be spending it in the modern part of town what do you want to do learn to ski and snowboard yes learn about the culture yeah, yeah, yes, but like some ski and snowboard is my number one. Learn about the architecture, nah. Learn about the style, nah. Learn how to unwind, I already know how to unwind. So definitely ski and snowboard is my number one thing to do. What are you escaping from boredom, sitting still, familiar, familiarity, sameness, stress? Um, I'm escaping from, from boredom. What sounds most exciting? Climbing to the peak, the different festivals, designing my new home, taking fashion risks, finding my inner zen. Oh, well, this one Loki is kind of hard because I've always wanted one of those little zen gardens for my desk just to like, just to play with the little garden on my desk and have some new zen in here. But dang, the different festivals, I would love to do the festivals, especially like vlogging it. Ah, but designing a new home, like, we're moving like sometime soon. Well, I can't say sometime soon, but like next year soon. And designing the new home, like I already have an idea for how I want my office to be. Like, oh, we're gonna say, I love designing. I'm gonna say designing a new home. If you guys know me, you know that I always rearrange my office. Like every month I'm rearranging this thing. How long are you staying? Just long enough. Forever and ever. I live here now. It's just a quick trip. What even is time? Um, just long enough. I always got to get back to my sameness eventually. So not super long, but not super short either. What are you wearing? Snow gear and boots, comfy travel clothes, my comfiest slippers, the newest trend, my swimsuit. Okay, see, what am I wearing? What time of the year is it? What am I doing? Because if I'm skiing and snowboarding, then of course I'm gonna be wearing snow gear and boots. But if it's hot, is it even gonna be snow on the ground? Will I be wearing my swimsuit? I don't know. Come on, EA. Um, I should, I should say not even EA. Come on, Sims team. I think I'm gonna be wearing snow gear and boots. I'm probably coming for the winter, so snow gear and boots, because I definitely want to snowboard. What's your lifestyle? Energetic, frequent traveler, indoorsy, people person, or workaholic? I'm definitely an indoorsy type of person. If I had the money to travel, I would be traveling, but mostly, indoorsy i'd have to say where are where who what am i saying who are you here with me myself and i my friends my family my significant other my co-workers um based on my track record probably by myself honestly either myself or my family but if it's i mean because it could be a family trip you know so i'll say my family but if I'm here, like at home, I'm by myself. But we'll say my family, because in case it's a trip. Success, you've completed the quiz. Your snowy escape is action filled. Woo You're looking for an adrenaline rush like nothing you've ever experienced before. And you're sure to find it in the snow sports in Mount Kwame. Kurabi? I, I still don't know how to say. On um, Mountain. Okay, so guys, that's the end of the quiz, but I don't want to stop there. Let's go do another one, like a BuzzFeed quiz or something, because that was way too short. 
Okay, guys, we're gonna do another Sims quiz, but made it on the Sims website. We're gonna do the Sims 4 personality personality diagnosis. I think this literally came out right when the game came out, but I don't really remember. What dream job requires my my dream job requires my own private helipad, a little chemistry, meeting a lot of new interesting people, masterful bulldozer skills. Uh say my dream job is YouTube. What am I doing? I am meeting a lot of interesting people. So yeah, we'll do that one. Which of these items would you rather wear? A suit, a studded collar, your heart on your sleeve, a hard hat. Oh, one of these? Yeah, no. Okay, heart on your sleeve. We're gonna go with the heart on your sleeve. As hopefully that's a metaphor. What's your ideal place to woohoo? Whoa, these, bro, these things. Are, these quizzes are getting out of hand, bro. In a mansion I built with my own two hands. If it's built by me, it's probably not even a mansion. It's probably a room with four walls. In my bed, anywhere public, in a rocket ship 300,000 feet in the air. You know what? If you're going to be in a rocket ship, what are you doing, huh? <laughs> what is your greatest thing you can do with your life? Build a better world. Make a woohoo with everyone. Set stuff on fire. Disregard Sims. Acquire Simoleons. We're going to build a better world, all right? With Simoleons, though. But build a better world. Which of these emotions, emoticons, best describes you? Smiling, angry face, blowing a kiss, or sleepy eyebrows? Um, probably smiling. If you see me, I'm mostly smiling. If I'm at home, definitely sleepy eyebrows. What are the Sims thinking about right now? Everything stinks. We are awesome. All we really need is some loving, huh? My favorite thing to say is, huh? So I'm gonna say, huh? What kind of beverage are you? A milkshake. I'm a seething cauldron of rage. I'm a sweet smoothie. Water, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Definitely a smoothie because I love smoothies. The man is giving you... No, the man is giving the woman a cow plant because he loves her. He had it lying around the house because it's a weirder type of flower. Everyone knows that milk tastes better from the cow plant. <laughs> Or, or hear me out, hear me out. He starved the cow plant to death, right? Well, not to death, but he starved the cow plant enough for the little cake to pop out of the mouth. So she can go over and eat the cake and die. So we're gonna say, because it's a weirder type of flower. <laughs> what of these objects would you want to receive as a gift? A violin, tickets to the opera, a sandwich, a key to a hotel room. Is it a presidential suite? Or what kind of hotel room are we talking about? Because... None of these is really my cup of tea. A violin? Nah. I'm a band kid. We don't touch the strings, okay? Uh, tickets to the opera? A uh, bunch of people yelling like, oh, no. A sandwich? I don't really like to eat. A keto hotel room? What am I, what am I doing at this hotel room? <gasps> am I going to stay at Mount... Co Bro, I don't even know how to say it. Am I staying at the Snowy Escape? Yeah, I'll take that one, actually. Which of these ti most tickles your fancy? Universal, critical, acclaim, sexy, tickling, VIP section, staycation. VIP section. Success, you've completed the quiz. You are a passionate romantic. When your star signs cross, they must have shared a moment for you are deeply romantic, whether you are playing matchmaker or finding a new boyfriend or girlfriend. You just love to love, and we love that about you. Now go out there and make love happen. Yay! But all right, guys. See, my chair is broken. If you guys have any chair suggestions, leave them down below because you heard that, right? You heard that. I only put my arms up, and that thing went... Almost died. But I'm going to end up today's video here. Like I said, guys, a new machinima. I'm making one coming out soon, hopefully. Once I get everything situated, I think it's going to be coming out by next week. So hopefully, guys, you enjoyed today's video. And if you enjoyed it enough, consider hitting the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.